Welcome to the latest species profile edition from the Watercolors Aquarium Gallery brought to you from the Aquarium Rush Studios in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Today we're going to be talking about a really cool, well we're just going to talk about one, yeah. but the cool group of dwarfs that the, the, uh, the Nanochromus group, specifically Nanochromus parallax. Yeah, Nanochromus were some of the first dwarf cichlids I ever had experience with, and at that time I think it was Nanochromus splendid, which is a pretty good rare one to get an opportunity to play around with, and those guys do just kind of steal your heart. They definitely fall under the category of an underrated fish. Sure. So one of the really cool aquarium designs that I think is out there is when you are setting up a great plant aquarium, and you're going to do your main focus school of fish. Mm -hmm. And then your cleanup crew fish or your little busybody fish, adding a pair of dwarf cichlids to a lot of those tanks can be just a fantastic little detail yeah. part. It really rounds out of the tank. Yeah, it yeah. gives you like the great personality and something to do with that. Now comes Paris fits this perfect. Yeah. They stay fairly small, although the ones we have downstairs are not really as small as <laughs> <laughs> No, I see max size for for Paris, uh listed at like three inches online. Um, I think it was like three and a half for males, two for females or something like that. And the ones we have are bigger than that. They're, they definitely seem bigger. Either yeah. they're not perilous or somebody's got that wrong or something. Or they're just really big. Although it might be a similar thing, maybe at this rank, to a pistos where captive race ones do often tend to get bigger. That's very possible. Yeah. A little more nutrition company than that they have to do. Um, they are a cave spawner. They are going to be a little bit more challenging to breed. You probably will have to mess with the water to breed them. They really want the pH to be in the 6 to 6.5 range. Although we've been keeping them in West Michigan tap water at the 7.2 to 7.5 range with some drifter in there. And they seem to behave fine. The lifespan doesn't seem to be short. Uh, it seems to be just fine for them for keeping. Breeding might have to be a little bit different. Yeah. Both parents do take care of the of the fry. So this is five parental. Care, by yeah. parental care, okay. which is uh, not very common. Yeah. And they actually can cool. swap roles too. So sometimes the females the defender, sometimes the males the defender, but they they work like trade off that way too. Yeah. And these are West African Congo, right? Mm -hmm. uh, I believe it's Congo. Yeah. Okay, West African River systems. Yeah. Um, I know they're they're definitely found in Congo, and that's okay. the main area that's listed for them. I think that river basin does extend a little past like the Democratic Republic of Congo. Okay. Um, but yeah. I don't know if their range does or not. Yeah. Just for anyone not sure, just a fun fact: um, the cichlids are kind of a weak spot. The <laughs> Ben has only recently gotten me into them, so I'm still kind of picking it up. The cichlids <laughs> beyond the <Yeah>. Yeah. <laughs> These to me, I would call them like they're basically the West African of Pisto. You know, Absolutely. they're they're not as like outgoing, they're not as aggressive, but they're they're very like they kind of keep to themselves for the most part. They're gonna get aggressive with other things like that, but but I've never seen them pass with anything other. Than they're gonna defend their little territory, but the other fish are gonna learn very quickly to stay out of their territory, and it's not gonna be a good territory. Yeah. We've got a pair of transistitis in this tank. Um, and they've been in with those really shy wild bettas now for a long time. I was a little worried about that at the beginning, but no issue. No. So give these little <laughs> fish a try. They're a really cool fish and could be a great addition to a planet aquarium. Look for us on Spotify for our podcasts and iTunes and all kinds of other places. You can go to our website for uh, some links to those and for more information on this fish. In the meantime, have lots of fun. Keep those hands wet. <laughs> <laughs>